All right, for the first time in quite a while, I'm fishing with my good buddy, Captain Justin Bowles. We have made a long run in the dark to get deep in the Biloxi Marsh. And we're going exploring today, starting with some topwater baits in a kind of a little lake that Justin has been wanting to fish for years and just has never done it. And today's the day to do it. We had a little cool front come through last night, got a north wind, not blowing too hard, maybe five knots. Really, really good conditions today, except for one thing, it's one of those flip-flop tide days so we have no water movement so we got that working against this something we're gonna have to overcome but hopefully we can find some speckled trout the fishing has definitely been good around here in recent days justin is throwing a skitter walk and i'm throwing a nomad bait that i used a few weeks ago on the beach in florida i really like this bait it's kind of a lower profile sounds like maybe a single knocker in there Super sharp hooks, and Justin's being devoured by deer flies. Deer flies are the worst. I'd rather uh, horse flies. Some current lines. There's obviously some moving water. Oh, one just flies at it again. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I, oh, I saw him. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Same deal. Oh. This is a gorilla. This is why you run to the Biloxi Marsh. <laughs> yeah, you want to put that hook in my hand, don't you? It's always fun throwing a cork right into the sun. Oh goodness, ripped the rod out of my hands. And you missed it? I missed it, sure did. There's a fish, that's a trout. Whitey. What's up Whitey? That may have been what hit you so far. Yep, it sure may have been. Oh no, it's a speck. Look at that. Look how white this trout is. Wow. Wow. I wonder if that's some kind of hybrid. I've never seen it. Look at this. He does not have one spot except on his fins. That's weird. And a little bit on his tail. Water is better. Water is better, you're right. Significantly. Clean moving water, bait, not a community hole. What more could you ask for? There he is. First cast. Might be a keeper, Justin. Finally, it's definitely a trout. All right, definite first keeper of the day. Good fish. Man, he took it deep. Look at that. Look at that. He wanted that TKO. Oh, big shrimp. Shrimp whisker. Really? Yep. On top one? Yep. Got him? Oh yeah. Hit the power pole. Good trout, Justin. Hit the power pole. Will do. All right. I bet my leader's too long. You've got an adjustment. Huh? I know. <laughs> That's a good trout. All right. Justin and I have been on tiny trout, termites all day. We just came, oh nice, good fish. Man, that's a really good fish. Let me get a picture, Justin. We just came into this little cove and Justin caught two right away. I think my leader might be a little long. I'm gonna shorten it real quick, but we get a picture real quick. How long is your leader? About two and a half feet. Mine's about three feet. So let's shorten it. See if that's enough. Man, Justin, put on a clinic. Oh, 
I mean, just a different class of fish, <laughs> except for this one. <laughs> Look at this. Look. <laughs> there goes the neighborhood. White trout. Compare. Close. Yours could eat mine. There he is. Right. Significantly better fish. I wonder what it happened if we'd have ran to this cove first with top water. Yeah. Oh, threw in his mouth. The keeper. What's doing back there, Justin? Trying not to feel my toes. It's an impossibility for me. Is that why you wear those rubber boots? Yep. <laughs> No, oh, it comes the dolphins. Oh man. Flipper has shown up. Oh, two flippers. And what are we in, like a foot of water? Maybe two feet. Two feet. So this bite's probably about to die. Oh my God. All right, Justin and I finally found some keeper fish in this cove. We actually got on a pretty good bite in a family of dolphins moved in and just shut it down. We ended up drifting the whole cove and picked up one or two more fish, just a lot of small fish. Seems like the only keepers are right around here. Unfortunately, I've been having camera trouble, so I don't know how much of that footage is gonna come out, but we got about 10 fish or so, maybe a dozen in the box. We're coming back now for our second pass. Ooh, fish on, there we go. Yep, you got it. Justin's power pole battery is dead so we gotta do it manually old-fashioned way good fish solid keeper on the red ice tko now justin actually likes to nose hook these things what do you feel like it does i think it lets it fall more naturally and then also these slide down all the time and twist so when you do this it never slides down i might have to give that a whirl <laughs> Well, there we go. Another throwback. Another throwback. But you know what? I switched and nose hooked his TKO. Did you really? I sure did. <laughs> and he's got a mouth full of it. Call that the JB rig. Yes, that's a JB rig. It's patented. <laughs> 